I'm glad we're finally getting to do something together, just the two of us. Sure. One thing you really miss when you're on vacation is laundry. Mm -hmm. Be careful. You're using too much downy. You know, if my clothes get too soft, it makes me sleepy. Well, this takes me back, me doing your laundry, you next to me criticizing. It is nice, isn't it? <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, hi! Oh, hello, darling! Sheldon, you didn't tell me your mom was coming? It was in my weekly email blast. <laughs> right between beet season is finally here, and uh-oh, uh red stool from beets leads to cancer scare. <laughs> You been? Good, good. I hear that Leonard has a new girlfriend. How are you doing with all that? Oh, fine. You know, it's been a while. I'm getting back out there. Let me ask you, when you get back out there, are you wearing this? <laughs> well, it's super cute on. That top has paid for itself in free drinks like 10 times what it costs. <laughs> yes, Penny has a lot of money tied up in promiscuity futures. You think maybe the reason why you're having trouble finding a guy to settle down with is because you're letting him ride the roller coaster without buying a ticket? Oh, they don't always get to ride the roller coaster. Sometimes they only get to spin the teacups. <laughs> now, I'm going out tonight. Would it be crazy to ask you to look at the outfit I'm gonna wear? Oh, not crazy at all. And don't beat yourself up. When I was your age, you could have me for a car ride and a bottle of strawberry wine. <laughs> yeah, that will not be in this week's email blast. So, this spring, I get to go to the International Space Station. Oh, my word, a trip to the heavens. <laughs> If you ever want to live there eternally, I've got a good book you could read. Thanks, but I watch the Charlie Brown Christmas special every year, so I get the gist. I bet your mom is really proud of you. Nope. She says if I don't back out, she's going to go on a hunger strike. It'd take years before she'd be in any kind of danger, but still. I've got a treat for us tomorrow, Mom. I'm taking you to see Saul Perlmutter give a lecture about his Nobel Prize winning work in cosmology. And the best part is, at the Q&A afterward, I've worked up a couple of cues that'll stump his sorry A. I don't know, Shelley. I thought we could do a little sightseeing. What sight is better than your little boy embarrassing a Nobel laureate? <laughs> Come on, Sheldon. We'll take your mom to see the Hollywood sign, the Wax Museum, the Walk of Fame. Ooh, maybe a little Rodeo Drive. Well, I can't spend $12,000 on a handbag, but it's free to look upon those who do with righteous condemnation. <laughs> what do you say? What do I say? I say you people need to stop ruining my mom's visit with, you, with your sushi and your sadness and your slutty shirts. Stop it. <laughs> He's not talking about your shirt. Your shirt is fine. 